The adaptation of Mushoku Tensei decided to remove most of its info dumps regarding world building in favor of saving screen time for sleazy fan service by constantly having the camera zooming on the privates of underage girls. Some complained about that, the lack of info dumps, not a pedo service, and thus made topics that explain everything the anime left out. So let's go over the very elaborate analysis of the world building of Mushoku Tensei that received over a thousand upvotes and several awards. Levels! Yes, levels now counts as world building. Roughly these levels indicate the strength of the moves used by swordsmen and magicians. It is said that someone whose advanced level in any of the three major sword styles or one of the four types of attack magic is stronger than 99% of the general population as well as 95% of adventurers. And then you see a list of the levels which count as world building because this is what world building is all about. This is actually so interesting, thank you! One of the things I really like about Mushoku Tensei is the lore! Sword styles! There are three major sword styles that count as world building. Sword God style. It is a style of swordsmanship that emphasizes speed and aggression, where the main focus is to strike down the opponent first. Water God style. It is a style of swordsmanship that specializes in defense techniques, emphasizing parrying and counterattacking oncoming attacks. North God style. The main focus of this style is not on techniques or developing specialties, but rather on a method on how to stay alive and approach a battle with the highest chance of winning. For all three styles, someone who attained a saint or above may call themselves level, followed by style. Sword King Gishlay, North Saint Galu, Sword God Galfarian. Yeah, this is what world building is all about. I am a level 16 barbarian. This is how I call myself. This is totally not the video game uh, always fascinated me how much world building did the author for Mushoku Tensei Magic! Magic has three main categories and that counts as world building. Attack magic, healing magic and summoning magic! It should be noted that in general magic can be used in two ways, incantations and magic circles. And all that counts as geography, politics and economy. I really enjoyed the show and it's definitely my number one. World building is very needed! And now the character profiles, which is just their current levels in various skills. This is what counts as personalities in modern anime. Sword God style, advanced. Water God style, advanced. North God style, advanced. Fire magic beginner, water magic beginner, healing magic intermediate, detoxification magic intermediate. And now you know everything about these characters. World building is now equivalent to RPGs jargon. And there you have it, this is what counts as superb world building in modern anime. Imagine all those losers who waste their time on writing history, personalities, politics, geography and a whole bunch of other useless garbage. World building in modern times is all about video game terminology.